Okay, um, this is uh, really very interesting for LW. I'm not too sure I've seen one like this before. It's really, really quite extraordinary. Okay, it's obviously a proper marine engine. Why? Uh, a, it's got a cast iron sump. The crankcase is aluminium, but the sump is cast iron. Also, if you come around this side, Brendan, maybe. It had this integrated uh, Japsco pump on here. So that was driven directly by the crankshaft. Now, in an, a marine environment, that's really quite an advantage because there's no pipes, no hoses, no valves, nothing. The salt water is simply sucked in through this port here and out through that port there via the heat exchanger, of course. So that's really quite, quite unusual. Now, getting this off, this part here of the tiny case cover and the tiny case cover itself are all the one piece. So getting it off was really quite a struggle. We had an awful lot of work. <laughs> now, the way it was, this adapter was on here. Right, I not push it on the whole way. But what we had to do was, yep. so as I explained, this adapter was in here like that, and that carried the drive for the pump. And it, in turn, come up through here. And that's where the problem was. This adapter was, because it's dissimilar metals, was really very, very tight. And the adapter also was tight on this shaft. So what we had to do was, now unfortunately because the job's already finished, I can't show you exactly, but we had to get a big nut like this and weld it in here, into the inside of this adapter here. And then we got a screw, we screwed the screw in and that pulled the whole lot off. Plus a good deal of heat and a good deal of um, swearing and cursing and jumping up and down and, and um, <laughs> all sorts of hassle but we got there eventually and this come off and then the time and case cover come off no problem now also on this engine it had what appeared to be uh, an extended crankshaft at first i made the assumption that this that the crankshaft itself carried all the way through here but <coughs> again after much drilling and trying to make presses and trying to make pullers and all sorts of things, maybe after half a day's work, in effect, we just give up. And we put feeders down in here and we concluded that, in fact, the shaft didn't come the whole way through. We just got our big friendly angle grinder and we just cut all the way around here and took that off. Once we did that, it was just the same as any automotive engine. There's a big nut in here which came off, no problem. Um, well, with a proper airline and proper tools. And um, we, we were able then to pull the whole lot off. So that's as far as we've got with that engine. What we'll have to do now is we'll have to take out the crankshaft and measure the big ends and measure the journals and see what condition the crankshaft's in. At first sight, it appears to be not too bad. She's definitely not seized. There's no vertical movement. I cannot pull that con rod up and down. It's really quite tight and they're all the same. The camshaft uh, we greased some time ago, so it's perfect. Um, she'll of course get a new caiman chain and so on. But all this work is wasted if the crankshaft is, is out of tolerance. But there's nothing else we can do. Whether it'll all be worthwhile at the end or not, I don't know. I, I, I think it will. I hope so. Because it's really quite special. This. The end plate you may have. Notice is, is smashed. Don't know how that happened. So she'll have to get a new end plate. But we've got lots of those. That'll not be a problem. Okay. Again. Thank you so much.